story up and down the coast. Drug smugglers using high-powered boats to transport marijuana and people into the U.S. along our coastline. One local filmmaker decided to look into the issue, and his documentary is getting rave reviews. Jim Murray is live in Santa Barbara with this story. Jim. Yeah, Victoria, it's hard to believe that such uh, illegal activity is taking place here off the coast of Santa Barbara, but it is. And it's become such a big deal that one local filmmaker decided to head to Mexico to check things out for himself. His name is Jesse Azenstadt, and he knew there was a story to tell when he read about the increase in drug smuggling boats coming ashore along the coastline of Santa Barbara County. So he decided to drive down to Baja to investigate the story. <laughs> smuggling boats are also called panga boats. And already this year, there have been over 16 incidents along the central coast. 25,000 pounds of marijuana has been seized by law enforcement, and close to 100 arrests have been made. That's a significant increase from last year's numbers. It's not about the pongas themselves. It's about innovation on smuggling migrant workers and marijuana into the United States. As the U.S. government tightens security along the border with Mexico, drug dealers have had to find alternative routes to the U.S., and the Central Coast has become an attractive destination. We have stretches of unpopulated um, coastline uh, for miles, and we're easy targets. We figured there'd at least be a dude in a jeep or somebody watching. Azenstadt's documentary, called Baja Smugglers, was released on YouTube. He's quick to point out that while some boats can carry over $3 million worth of marijuana, it's a small fraction of what the U.S. government plans to spend on eliminating the problem. The real money in the Ponga smuggling story, which is the money in trying to stop it, which is drones, military helicopters, up to $50 billion in the new Senate package on immigration reform. Yeah, in talking to Azenstad, he said that if the government continues to try to crack down on these smuggling boats, that the drug dealers are just going to find other ways to get their drugs into the country, that the drug trade is just that big of a business. Reporting live from East Beach, Jim Murray, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you for that, Jim.